Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and in today's video I'm going to show you some pieces that have come into the shop again. Um, the gentleman who brought in, um, let me see, the coins, the little advertising cars, uh, the wooden inlaid box, things like that. He came back again yesterday, it's his last load. It's a car boot sale load unfortunately, but it is still vintage collectibles for a car boot sale. Um, it only cost me £25, um, so I'm going to show you in a minute uh, what I've had. There is one piece that I find very strange, and I mean very strange. Um, uh, more funny than strange. Anyway, before I start, um, I went to see the new Marvel film last night. Uh, the release date was today. And uh, they had a special show in one minute past midnight last night. And the cinema's massive, it's got eight screens. And every single screen, all eight screens, had the Marvel Infinity War film starting at one minute past midnight. And every single screen was full to the brim. Oh my God, was it chaos, but worth it. Three hours in the cinema, num bum, loved the film. Probably three years or two years for the second half. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get to showing you um, some of the pieces I've got. Yet again, more weapons. Now, don't get excited, this is a made in Taiwan reproduction, um, but it looks the part. It has a compass in the top. Plastic handle, steel blade, uh, but stamped Taiwan, so it's not going to go for fortunes. Um, you know, a few pounds, maybe a fiver on the knife. Trying to be realistic. Uh, this is quite nice, but they don't sell anymore, and it is missing the slide. Um, you got a nice slide rule, but they normally have a plastic thing that slides up and down them. Don't know if this one would have or not. Maybe this. Is wouldn't have it, I don't know. And it's even got the paperwork and chart on the back, so if you the paperwork for you to pull out and to read. Uh so that was in there. They they used to do alright, they used to get twelve quid for them, but now I'm um, like three, two or three quid each. Which is a shame because they were really nice. Um it's not even worth um going into some of it. Uh quite a bit of it I'm not even gonna bother showing you. It's um, literally gonna go in a car boot sale for fifty P. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, set of six. Set of six um, butter knives. I'd say butter because they're not a serrated edge. Uh, they have this simulated ivory. It's like a plastic on the handles, but it's made to look like ivory. Um, they're not going to go for a lot, guys. A couple of quid the box. Now, I know some of you get, you know, fivers and tenors and after some of these things, but I'm not London prices, I'm in the valleys. Um, we have Darkington Crystal Bowl with this original label. Again, a few pounds, but it's all going to be a couple of quid. A little bit of costume jewellery. That's supposed to be Coco Chanel, but believe me, they wouldn't be doing that in uh, the base metal like that. I wouldn't have thought anyway. Uh, more often than not, they come from China. We've got a couple of old cameras. Uh, that's an Olympus Trip 35. I think it'll be enough here when I'm done to double my money. Maybe just a bit more. Um, which is alright, you know. We got sort of a 1950s um, pressed glass dish and silver plate or chrome, chrome actually, uh, basket or bowl. Couple of quid again. This is quite collectible. It's an old nail clippers um, and pen knife. But what's actually quite nice about that one, it's Concord. So it may have come in like a souvenir bag when you flew on Concord or something like that. You know, manicure set while you were in flight maybe. Or just sold as a souvenir, I don't know. But that's going to be a few quid, just because the Concord's on there. I like this piece. It's not a lot of age, it's probably 1970s, 80s. Um, it's 
pottery with a coat of white paint if you like it's not the best quality in the world but it does have a little look to it um, and I do like busts this is the only thing I think out of everything that will probably end up in the shop and I'll probably chuck 12 or 15 quid on it in the shop and see what offers I get the rest of it's going to go out for like a pound two pounds three pounds things like that but she's quite nice she has a bit of a look I'll give her a wash and she'll go out in the shop I thought originally she might have been a plaster one it's not soft so yeah I'm thinking she's a pottery she may be hard plaster I'll have to have an eyeglass on it later and have a proper look if it's plaster one it's a bit better so yeah she got a bit of a look to us so she's all right she's the only thing I think after a second glance I may, you know, put in the shop. What have we got here? A little Italian figure, but that's a little decanter. Now you take the coke out the top and you pour it out, but it is empty, guys. Um, I don't know if that class is fans. Probably a bit of fans. That was it on the um, ceramics and glass side. Um, we had a couple of books. Then, um, vintage books. The Hotspur book for boys, 1975. Bank special. Facts and features of Britain's growing sport. I used to have one of those bikes. Mm. And everybody had one of these, probably. The Wonder Book of Bible Stories. <laughs> <laughs> somebody will buy it this one was quite nice uh, it's not a lot of value to it but it was quite nice boys uh, favorite book oh. all full of the cutouts at the beginning Streams in the sky. Anyway, quite a nice book. Um, might put a couple of quid on that one, two or three quid on that one. Uh, Around the world in eighty days. Is that Jules Verne? Yeah, Jules Verne. Yeah. He's also done Center in the Center of the Earth. I think. So we got vintage. I don't know how old it is. I can't see the publication date. probably 70s again guys looking at it something like that but if you like vintage books we had antiques roadshow collection of magazines now this will get kept I'll keep this it'll go in my um, books or uh, reference books at home um, you never know there's a lot of good information in these magazines I always buy and keep these if I haven't got them Here's a nice book, uh, 50th anniversary commemorative edition of World War II. Now that's actually a nice book. I actually didn't really pay much attention to that yesterday. Um, yeah, so that's, that is a nice book actually. It's not going to be fortunes, it's 24.95 new. And let's see if I can see the year of publication. Oh, no, let's work it out. That'll be 50 years after the start. Is it after the start or after the finish? So, look, 1989. So, there we have an interesting book. So, that was uh, something that I didn't expect to pull out of it, uh, to be honest, though. Because when the books come in, I just, we just dumped them all down. I had a quick glance and I thought, oh, all right. This one, I picked up and thought, oh, we just got another comic. It's not a comic, guys. See what it says at the bottom of there? Not suitable for children. It's almost a pornographic magazine, or oh, pornographic comic. I'm not gonna go into details because I don't know who watches the channel on age group, but they are nude ladies and comic strips all the way through. Um, and this one's entitled The Fish Supper. I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> nice advert on the back. <laughs> a 
bit of fun. Somebody will definitely buy that just for the humour to have a read. Um, and the final thing really uh, to show you, it was obviously, as I said, it was other pieces in there, but they are literally going to the boot for 20 pence or 50p. It's no point in even showing you. Um, he did bring in the set of British Empire magazines. Now, how collectible are these? I really wouldn't know, but he does have the entire set. It is a complete set of the British Empire. Um, I may give these away as a, a prize one day. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Um, because the only downside with them is the postage overseas. If the postage was cheaper, I'd give them away as a prize because it'd be nice for people overseas to see Britain at its peak as well, really. Um, there's a full set. There's a couple of binders and it is the full set. He did tell me it was a full set. Anyway, I haven't checked. So there we have it. That's £25 spent, guys. Um, just to give you an idea, the other type of pieces, and I got loads of it, is, you know, it's that type of stuff. Going to go out on the boot sale for 50p's and 20p's. And... He called me up yesterday at half past three. He said, what time you shut then? I'm like, shut at four. Can you hang on? I, I'm on my way from Swansea, uh, on my way home, and I got a, a load of stuff in the van again. So he said, yeah. And he got you about half past four which weren't too bad. Um, I normally keep the shop open, but I had to do some Iceland shopping and that, so I just shut the shop, went across, come back and waited for him. Um, so, yeah, it was all right. It's going to be a profit. It was nothing... To say I was disappointed with the stock would be a lie because I've had some really nice things off him. And to be honest with you, I quite like the war book, having looked at that. I like the adult comic strip, and I like the bust. So there's three pieces there I actually do quite like. Um, the book and the, the bust are going to go in the shop. I've decided that. They're going to stay in the shop. And the rest of us go on the car boot sale. And this, I'm going to have a little read and a bit of fun. <laughs> it is just a bit of fun, guys. I don't know what the date was on it. It was £7 anyway. That's not bloody cheap for a little comic book. Um, bear with me. Nineteen ninety-two, guys. September nine, September edition ninety-two, and it's the first edition. Viz, the fish supper. No. Sorry, I can't put that on the film. <laughs> right. Um. Let me see. Anything I want to add on? I'm trying to think. I think that's it. I have got a couple of books ready to do some book reviews, but I've been so busy and caught up with stock and everything else and eBay. Since I started eBay back up, it's been manic. I'm doing parcels in my free time now. So yeah, it's been really, really crazy busy. So I will be doing a book review, guys. I just haven't had the time a minute, but I will get there, I promise. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed having a look. I know it's not jump up and down stock like I normally have, guys, but it is work in stock. And to be totally honest with you, to be fair with him, I can't cherry pick. No, I could, but I wouldn't cherry pick. Just take the best all the time and leave him take the rubbish because then he's just going to go, what's the point? I'm driving all the way down there. Then i got to drive up to the dump or give it to a charity shop. It's just not fair. I made it perfectly clear to him. I do the car boot sales as well, so it doesn't matter what you bring me. Um, if it turned out it was all rubbish all the time, I call it rubbish. Let me rephrase that because I keep having a row of Sandra. If it turned out that it was all stuff that I'd put on a car boot sale because I don't want for the shop all the time, then I'd put a stop to it. <laughs> but I have had some really nice little pieces off him, and there's one or two pieces in amongst this that are going to be good enough for the shop, I think. The bust and the, uh, the book, you know, they're good enough for the shop, so... Yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. I can't think of anything else I'm going to say. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, guys, I would appreciate a like and a share. If you're new to the channel, uh, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know you subscribe, and I'll give you a thumbs up. And I always answer my comments, even if I'm late. Sometimes it takes me a week or two to get back to around to answering the comments, but I do have so many 
messages, comments between Facebook, Messenger, my WhatsApps, the people coming in the shop, it's been manic. This year has been a whirlwind. I've done six months in the shop now, guys. And, well, it seems like two weeks, honest to God, it's been that fast, it's flown. Um, I'll do a vlog one day this week where I'll sit down and we'll have a chat about how things have gone and plans for the future. You already know I'm looking into buying a building down here. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how things go, but I'll do a vlog a different day for you. So anyway, I'm leaving it there. Um, you'll find me on Facebook, I have a page and a group, Antiques Arena. You'll find me on eBay at the moment, Antiques Arena Clearance. Uh, I have my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com. Or you can come and visit me in the shop. It's Antiques Arena, 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, Charlie Foxtrot, 45, 3 Hotel Bravo. Thanks for watching, guys.